Mr. Stevie here. And I just wanted to make a quick video to talk about Minority Mental Health Awareness Month, which is this month, and give you three ways to celebrate. What is Minority Mental Health Awareness Month? Well, in 2008, the U.S. House of Representatives established July as B.B. Moore Campbell National Minority Mental Health Awareness Month. It was created to improve access to mental health treatment and services for multicultural communities through increased public awareness. B.B. Moore Campbell was an American teacher, author, journalist, and mental health advocate. She, along with organizations like the National Alliance on Mental Illness, wanted to shed light on underserved people, address health inequity, and overcome barriers so all people can access quality mental health resources. You may not know this, but people in minority communities are less likely to receive diagnosis and treatment for their mental illness, have less access to mental health services, and often receive poorer quality of mental health care. Here are some statistics. African Americans are 20% more likely to experience mental health issues than the rest of the population. Native Americans between the ages of 18 and 24 have the highest suicide rates of any ethnic group. Only 2.3% of black or Hispanic young people see someone for mental health issues every year. 40% of white American adults seek treatment for their mental health as opposed to about 25% of African Americans. Other barriers to mental health services for diverse communities include insurance coverage, cultural beliefs, language barriers, and the negative stigma associated with mental health issues. Knowing all that makes this the perfect time to get the most out of Minority Mental Health Awareness Month. So here are three ways to maximize your health and wellness this month. One, acknowledge any trauma or mental health issues you may have. Starting right here worked for me, but it wasn't easy. It took years to admit that I had anger and anxiety issues and that those issues were rooted in childhood abuse and discrimination. Facing these traumatic experiences with a combination of therapy and mindfulness took time and is something that I continue to work on every day. Like I said, it's not easy, but in my experience, you have to start somewhere and that somewhere is yourself. Two, research what tools, resources, and services are available to you. You have a unique opportunity this month to focus on your mental well-being. Take advantage by reaching out to counselors, therapists, and mental health professionals. Or go online and visit websites on mental health topics that interest you. You can also read articles and publications focused on mental health. Ever since I started my mental wellness journey, I have done everything from speak to therapists, read self-help books, and go on meditation retreats. There are many, many, many resources out there to help. Three, do something about it. Don't ignore any mental health issues. Address them by incorporating self-care behaviors like meditation and yoga, or talking to a therapist and behavior specialist, or purchasing reading materials. For me, it's all about continuing my daily meditation practice, learning more about mind-body exercises, and sharing my love for mindfulness with others. So what are you gonna do? A good place to start is checking out online resources offered from organizations like the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services Office of Minority Health and the National Alliance on Mental Illness. Do some reading or reach out to a professional or participate in any local events happening in your area. That's what I plan on doing later this month at the Minority Mental Health Awareness Week. Hosted by Emerge Sarasota, this five-day virtual event takes place July 20th through 25th and features local health workers and professionals from diverse backgrounds addressing important mental health topics. I'll have more details about the event in an upcoming episode. Minority Mental Health Awareness Month is such an important event and it comes at the perfect time. Right now, we as a community and as a nation are examining critical topics like equality and that includes equality in addressing mental health issues and practices. It's time to be open 
It's time to share. It's time to speak up. So until the next video, stay calm, friends.